You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So initially, I was gonna make this video a question. The title of this video was originally gonna be Why are people review bombing this small town hair salon? Because I genuinely didn't know. I was kind of asking the question, not to get an answer exactly, but letting you know that I didn't have an answer. <laughs> and while it was gonna serve more as a rhetorical question, I would still not have that closure. But then a little time passed, and this video's sole purpose is completely different. <laughs> Basically, that's my way of saying that I do now know why this small town hair salon has been getting review bombs. And I guess this is the segue into the beginning of the story. Hi, I'm Wombat, by the way. If we've never met before, hi. I'm also anxious in my username, right? <laughs> Alright, let's just start with the story. So it was just a normal day, you know, I'm just chilling. I recently picked up my sister from the bus stop. I'm just on the couch now. She's just, you know, doing whatever, and I'm just, you know, watching army of darkness you know as one does <laughs> and then my brother comes home from work uh the job that he just recently quit so congratulations and then he walks towards me and he's like i need to show you something right he he uh sits next to me and then he pulls out his phone and this is where it all starts to happen and on his phone he types in the name of a hair salon that we're both pretty familiar with. And I'm not gonna say the name of the hair salon or where it is because one, that doxes me, and two, uh, it has gotten far more attention than it should have, <laughs> than it should have had. But he types in the name of the salon, right? And you know how it normally works on Google. You type in whatever you're typing in and the autocomplete thing has the result and it usually has a picture on the right side of it. Yeah, that basically happened except this was the image <laughs> that showed up when he typed in the hair salon name. Now as you can probably tell, that's a very concerning image. So of course he was intrigued by it and he clicks on the result and scrolls through more pictures that were associated with the business and I'm gonna show you what those pictures are right now. Okay, so the first image is the first result that pops up, and as you can tell, it's glamorous. He looks so good, you know? <laughs> and then the next uh, images here are just the inside of the salon, um, which I'm very familiar with, and I'm gonna blur this one out because this one has a little kid's face on it, and I don't wanna show, like, actual people's faces. As you can tell by the pictures, um, it just looks like a hair salon. Uh, next image is... what is that? Oh yeah, I don't know what this is. It's just a... <laughs> it's just a paper that says, We will be closed until further notice. Please visit our other locations. Sorry for any inconvenience, thank you. So... That's unfortunate. Yeah, that... Oh! <laughs> This is another image associated with the with the salon. Um, as you could tell, hair haircuts fire. Um, next image is uh, this other one. Uh, I think this is a mullet of some sort. I kind of vibe with it. I kind of like it. It's campy. It's giving like seventies. You know what I mean. This one, I, this one might actually be a real customer, and I don't know if this is good or not. Uh, I used to have hair like that, like, I used to have haircuts like that, like that kind of bob, and, you know, obviously I can't look at the back of my head, so I don't know if that's what it should normally look like. And then the next one is this. What even is that? What is this? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like so many things are wrong. Okay, this one might also be an actual customer, so I'm gonna blur faces here. Um, I'm looking at it and it's not great. It's not great. Uh, I don't really know what exactly is wrong with it, but it's like the side that's her 
left side. That, that top part does not look right to me. It, it's just... Hmm. Next one, I, this might also be a real uh, customer. Um, I don't know if this is what they wanted. If it's what they wanted, then good. Good for her, you know what I mean? Next one, um, is this, uh, looks good. Uh, I think it looks good. Um, next one. <laughs> it's like Edna mode, but as a hat. Oh gosh, this one. Uh, I don't know if this hair salon does eyebrow work, but if they do, and this is a real customer, speechless. <laughs> uh, this one is just a lady. Oh, I think I've seen this one on other social medias. Um, took neck beard to a whole new level, a literal level, I would say. And then this is the last one. It's like a pineapple and, and and like Bill Cipher. So me and my brother saw those images that were associated with the hair salon and we were both really confused as to why so many images were indeed fake, obviously meme images. And I've said it before, but we know this place. We personally know this place. I think we've been there at least once in our lifetimes to get a cut. Um, so this is kind of like big for us. We live in a rather, uh, as I like to call it, unimportant town. It's not necessarily small, but it's not the biggest either. Whenever something happens in our town, um, we celebrate it. We, we cherish it. Whether it's a bad thing, whether it's a good thing, we make an event out of it. You know what I mean? One of the best uh, moments is probably um, knowing that Grown Ups, the movie Grown Ups, starring Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, oh, wow. Kevin James, and Rob Schneider. Dear, dear, dear. I forgot that um, David Spade's also in Grown Ups, so let me just uh... hey, spell my name again. <laughs> they filmed parts of the movie in our town, and we are. We're so proud <laughs> to be civilians of this glorious town, just for that one detail only. And uh, there are other things too, but that one I take pride in. So yeah, obviously knowing this little hair salon uh, and it getting this weird traction all of a sudden, we were like, hell yeah. So. Uh, this leads on to the next section of the story, and that is the reviews. So the hair salon has a whopping overall review score of 1.7, and this is from over 600 reviews. Wow! <laughs> so to continue on with the story, um, my brother starts to read some of the reviews, but then he quickly recalls the people often mentioned section. Now, I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the people often mentioned section. It's the section where it shows the most mentioned terms and words in everyone's reviews. And the first result, the one term that has been the most used in all these reviews, 600 reviews, is blue hair with 86 mentions. <laughs> then there's glasses and boy, pictures, head, trim, receptionist, nose ring, crying, and fat. That's just great. I love that people still use the word fat as a derogatory term. <laughs> Sorry. So of course we tap on the blue hair term thing to get all the reviews that mention blue hair and I'm gonna read you some! I showed multiple pictures of what I wanted and the girl brushed me off saying she knew what she was doing and then absolutely butchered my hair. It looks horrible and I went and asked for a refund and this kid with blue hair threw the money at me! I will not be coming back and I suggest that you skip this place if you have curly hair. Now I should mention that too. So with hair salons specifically on Google, 
uh, you can enter what kind of service that you were given. You can enter like if you got a haircut or what did they do to your hair. You can also enter the type of hair that you have as well. And a lot of them have curly hair as their service. That ties in later, I will explain. Hi, editing Wombat here, and I realized I didn't mention something uh, in my initial recording. Uh, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why this is so baffling for us is um, all of these reviews are um, from recent time, like some are from four weeks ago, a month ago, some two weeks ago, one week ago, you can see on the reviews themselves, but I didn't mention that. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why it was so like attention grabbing to us that these all just came at a synchronized time, you know? Took my great nan in for a trim. What? Took my great nan in for a trim. <laughs> Sorry. Took my great nan in for a trim and she came out with pink eye because a lady called Lisa farted in her hand then threw it in my nan's face. Cupcake. Oh. Boy with blue hair and glasses laughed, then barked at me while Nan Doris was crying. The only good thing about this salon is the nice lady with the nose ring. She was lovely and gave my Nan a tissue to wipe her eyes. Everyone else needs serious help. Zero out of ten. Never using this place again! Nan went in for a trim, and this guy with blue hair gave her waist long box braids, shaking my head. When she complained, he called her a wrinkly bitch and knocked her flying. <laughs> I took my son to get his hair cut here. A lady named Lisa took him. She was rude right from the beginning. I showed her several pics of what I wanted his hair to look like. She looked at them, say okay, then rolled her eyes and proceeded to just chop at his hair while coughing directly in his face. I almost called her out her name, <laughs> sorry, when I, uh, when I grabbed my son. The kid at the register with the blue hair and glasses mumbled stop being so dramatic as he walked by. He almost got kicked in the back of the neck for that smart ass comment. So Lisa is lucky she didn't get dragged up and down that place for what she did right along with that blue-haired kid with the glasses. Do not waste your money here. They really need to shut this place down like immediately. Do not go here! <laughs> I hope the blue-haired kid stubs his toe at 2.34.47 a.m. while trying to get a snack then finds out his other sibling ate his snack. I hope his pillow stays warm at night every single night. Blue-haired dude needs to get fired. Easter Island head emoji. <laughs> Lisa was rude and kept slapping me with the brush whenever I blinked my eyes. Then, after I paid, the blue-haired guy in the front started throwing shampoo bottles at me to get out. Then he said he never once said to get out. But obviously he insinuated it. Worst experience ever. Zero out of ten. My son is disabled and has one leg. As soon as we walked in the establishment, the blue hair worker at the front desk ran over, ripped off his prosthetic leg, and started hitting him with it. I'm absolutely appalled by this place and how bad it is. Really bad service. I have no idea why they act like the Gordon Ramsay of hairstylists when my head looks like a nutsack. <laughs> Prebubescent receptionist kid with blue hair and glasses spat in my hand when I asked for the change from a $50 bill. That's crazy. I asked the bee named Lisa to just trim my hair and dye it red, but she was too busy using a razor to shave her forested bodusi in front of everyone there. When I asked her to please cut my hair, she grabbed that razor she was using and made me completely bald. Also, that one MF with the blue hair called me slurs and vomited on my head because I asked for a refund. I walked in and this dude with blue hair asked me what I was there for. I politely asked the staff if they would want to listen to my new indie pop EP, Something For Everyone EP. He said no and squared up. Little did he know I was prepared for this exact situation. I gave him that Kaniac combo. He went down without resistance. Don't F with me, blue haired dude. And we'll end off with this one because this one has an attachment, like an image attached to it. Took my sister here for a haircut and showed Lisa multiple pictures. Keep in mind my sister's school pictures were the next day. I asked her to just trim the dead ends off and she pulls out her shaver and shaves Kendall's, said sister, hair completely off. Kendall jumped away after she realized it and Lisa grabbed her neck and held her in the seat while she cried. The blue haired midget kid strapped me to a chair in the basement and threw pennies at me. Kendall left with three strands of hair and I left with multiple bruises from pennies. Would not recommend this hair salon, never going back. And uh, this was the image that they attached. The review too. So yeah, as you can tell by these reviews, they're crazy. 
and they also have a lot of running themes. There's the blue-haired kid, who seems to be the receptionist. He's very rude. Uh, there's a lot of refunds, and uh, blue-haired kid does not like the process of refunding things. There's also Lisa, who seems to be the hairstylist, and occasionally there's a girl with the nose ring, who's said to be actually nice and kind and like a actual good person in the whole situation. Now, these small patterns uh, made me and my brother question what was the cause of all this. My brother personally thought that it was one person or a group of people that were in on the joke and they decided to absolutely go crazy on this one salon's uh, review page just as a joke but obviously that's kind of like unlikely because 600 reviews that's a lot of accounts that you have to create you know I thought on the other hand that it was a TikTok situation do you remember the Axel Weber situation where it was like this one influencer with a lot of followers and he got an audition for like Juilliard which is a very difficult school to get into in the first place and then he like bombs his audition and gets rejected from the school and then his fans just completely bombard Juilliard's like social media comments like on their Instagram and stuff that's what it kind of reminded me of but at a much smaller scale so I thought it could have been something like that but then I kind of brushed it off because I thought like this Town is not that important. Why would why would people on TikTok be talking about it, you know? So that leads up to our very small investigation that we had. So while we were scrolling through these reviews and reading them, we were very curious as to what could have been the cause of them. So we decided to do a little investigating. And by a little investigating, I mean a little investigating. All we did was search up uh, different locations of the salon and look up reviews from them and yeah I found a Yelp page of the different locations and lo and behold they would also have pretty poor reviews however these reviews were from years ago 2016 2019 and they also seem to be pretty legitimate reviews very lengthy reviews that do not seem BS at all. No fake situations, no fake image attachments to them. It seemed real. This is just a branch of locations that offer really bad service. And it's just unfortunate, I guess. So we kind of come to the conclusion that it was just some sort of inside joke. A big inside joke that uh, took a lot of effort, but still an inside joke nonetheless. And we kind of uh, closed the book on that by creating our own reviews. We wanted to jump in on the fun, you know what I mean? So we both created fake Google accounts and um, made some reviews. So I'll read mine first. I named the account Alexis Dixon because Dixon is a funny name. <laughs> My husband wants me to write a review for this business as he doesn't have a cell phone nor a Google account so he is not the most technically advanced. He asked me, hey Alexis, can you write a review for this site? I need the people to know about my experience. And I said, sure honey. So I bought my own cell phone and made a Google account just to tell his story and let his voice be heard. So my husband has a nice head of hair and he doesn't grow any facial hair. When he arrived at the dresser he said he wanted a simple trim, nothing more. He said his stylist's name was Lisa. She wasn't rude to him, yet the cut itself was atrocious. She shaved his face, which I have mentioned before, he doesn't grow any facial hair. For her to shave his already clean butt naked face made him feel insulted. Then to add even more salt to the wound, she shaved his whole head. He is now clean shaven from the bottom of his chin to the top of his skull. He looks like an egg. His head looks like a fucking orange. I asked him if it was okay to take a photo and he said it's fine. So the photo I attached is the result. He said he asked for a refund and the kid at the desk, he said he had blue hair, threw exactly five pennies, 23 nickels, one quarter, and three silver dollars at his bald, no hair having head. Who has silver dollars anymore? Anyways, bad experience from my husband. He won't be returning and I won't be seeing myself there anytime soon. And, uh, oh yeah, of course, I'll show the image that I attached. It's, a uh, bald germa. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 
and here is my brother's review which I think is much funnier because he decided to do a bit uh, where he was the blue haired kid and I think what's even funnier is that like we had no context of who this blue haired kid was so he just kind of you know based it off of the reviews that were obviously not true stories <laughs> so anyway for the record all of you guys in the reviews had it coming to you this place is hell to work for. Lisa rules it with an iron fist. The moment you make one mistake, she farts in her hand and throws it in your flipping eyes. You guys can't blame me for how I acted, and frankly, I had no regrets. The only way I could make it through the day, looking at all of you ugly crackheads that came in through the front door on a daily basis, was by whipping quarters at you. How glorious it was. I'd stash the coins under my man boobs till they were moist with my sweat, making them sting all that much more when I got to hurl them at the next inconsiderate bastard who would ask for a refund. So if any of you decide to come back here and try to sass me in my blue hair for the actions of Lisa, just know what's in store for you. Oh, and Jocelyn? F*** you and your ugly ass baby. I hope my quarter left a nice welt on his head. He kind of went off. So yeah, we just kind of left it at that. And my brother suggested that I make a video regarding just this situation and that's what it was gonna be just me reading the reviews and ending it with our own reviews and case closed see you next time but then the next day happened <laughs> the next day so um, I'm talking to my friend about this situation and I was kind of on the fence of even making a video in the first place I was kind of like wow the situation is cool I don't feel like I have enough material to work with I wasn't that confident that it would make like a fun video um so I decided to go back to the reviews uh just to show them what was happening and stuff and then I see one review the gold mine the pot at the end of the rainbow, the cherry on top of the sunday, I don't know. <laughs> you want to know what this review said? I'm here from TikTok. I was right! <laughs> that made me go... <laughs> I was like... I rush to TikTok, I go to the search bar, I type the name of the salon and the town that it's in, and lo and behold, I find it. I find the TikTok. It has 1.1 million likes, and it's by someone that I went to school with. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, like, why didn't I just search for it on TikTok? Um, when I was suspecting that it was a TikTok thing. Because I... Because I didn't, okay? I just didn't. I didn't think of doing that, okay? Uh, I'm gonna paraphrase the TikTok for you. Okay, so basically she was taking her brother for a haircut and her brother has curly hair. Remember when I talked about curly hair before? Uh, and basically, she shows uh, the hair stylist who, she didn't mention a name. I don't know if Lisa was ever like, if they found out her name was Lisa in, in the future. I don't know. Um, but Lisa is the hair stylist. So she shows Lisa five pictures of uh, like his hair before, his hair wet. Uh, the last time he got it cut, and yeah, and they basically f***ed it up. And he's basically uh, very upset with the uh, the result. And so she's basically standing up for him, being like, "This looks bad. Can you try to fix it in some sort of way?" And uh, Lisa's like, "Okay, well we'll try, it, right?" And then I think they just like keep messing it up, right? And so they're basically back and forth being like, okay, how do I fix it? And it's like a, a lot of rude exchanges. And then Lisa eventually is like, well, the pictures that you showed me were bad. <laughs> the lady with the nose ring, the girl with the nose ring is also in the story and she is, you know, the nice one. She's the one that's like completely understanding. The blue haired kid is the receptionist 
he's real and he was rude, right? Uh, I guess the most like important part of the story was like them trying to get a refund and he actually threw the money at her. Um, so it was just all in all bad service. Um, so it finally came full circle. Finally realized why my local hair salon was getting bombarded massively by these fake reviews. And apparently like the Yelp page for that specific location disabled their replies. I guess you could say that it was TikTok all along. I did find the answer to it. And that is just really funny to me. <laughs> so as I was talking about before, um, originally I was gonna make the video trying to be like, why is this happening? These are really silly reviews, right? I was kind of looking at it through the average Joe perspective, if that makes sense. Imagine being that one social media manager at that Juilliard <laughs> uh, Instagram page where you're just constantly being bombarded by these comments or being like, hey, Axel Weber. You're probably like, who is that, right? So you're confused because you're just a civilian living your life and then all this random stuff from something that you're familiar with just starts coming out and you're like, what? Obviously there's a cause for this, but what was it? You know, life found a way, I found the answer, um, and I guess that's like, I don't know, the silver lining of it all? I don't think I used that term right. So yeah, I guess that's really where I end the video. If you ever have a bad experience with a hair salon, just make a TikTok out of it. And who knows? You might just get a bunch of people to negatively review it and tank their overall rating to a 1.7 average. I wonder what it was before that. <laughs> it probably wasn't that high. So that was just a silly little story that I had. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, my ramblings about the whole thing. It was just a really funny. It was just really funny. Um, thank you. Bye. It's Certified DILF lover? <laughs> oh wow. That's crazy.